Hey folks, Joseph Rampoli here at AWE TV, and we have some very special people right here. We have CEO of Matayo, Thomas Alt. We also have Brendan Scully, who's a part of the New York office for Matayo. Guys, how's the conference going so far? Wonderful. We're seeing a great uptake for the technology. We're seeing great interest from developers and also customers for augmented reality. It's been a great show. Awesome. So what are some of the new things with Matayo coming out? Uh, you guys have been doing a lot of things ever since the Inside AR conference unveiling them. So what are some of the new stuff that's going on? Yeah, well, we're seeing a tremendous uptake on our SDK, the Mateo SDK, for all kinds of application. What we have traditionally focused on is really the computer vision core for augmented reality, and we did continuous improvement for that. And also, we are very happy that we have now attracted more than 100,000 developers on our platform, which develop on the Mateo SDK, but also use tools like the Mateo Creator to do content creation and deploy in the cloud of Mateo Cloud. So that's pretty exciting for us. We've also shared a little bit of our research roadmap here at AWE, and I guess the thing which is really outstanding is what we call Thermal Touch, which is essentially a complete new technology which lets you interact with any real-world object just by virtue of touching it. And the way we implement this is we are taking a small visual sensor and a thermal sensor connect them both with computer vision and then read the heat signature the people leave when touching objects. So that's quite cool. And more from the project side, Scully, you can probably elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, it was a great show. I mean, we saw a lot of projects on the floor that were utilizing the Matayo SDK uh, in novel ways. So we announced edge-based tracking. It allows you to uh, actually use AR on physical objects. So our partners, Engrain, Bosch. I mean, there were several companies that are out there using Matayo tracking. And, and that was kind of a first to see that many partners out there using our tools. We also won the Augie for best uh, application for the IKEA catalog. Uh, over 6 million downloads in the first couple months. A million pieces of furniture downloaded. I mean, this, uh, this year we're finally scaling both in users and the number of projects that are out there using our tools. It's really exciting. Yeah, I always say that the Augies is the Academy Award of uh, an augmented world, and it's, it's something to be really proud of. I mean, it, it really, you know, it, it's, a, it's a competition, and, you, you know, you're, you have all these different competitors, and to get an Augie is quite an accomplishment. Um, you know, you were talking about the heat sensor also, and, and that is, uh, I think, groundbreaking, the, the way you guys are demonstrating the use of that. And as this rolls out, there's so many potential uses on how you could do this, and it's really exciting times to do it. I also want to say that I think, you know, you guys have a presence all over the world, but I think to have, I'm biased since I'm from the New York area, that we, that we have New York representation, so that's a great thing. So what's kind of from here? I know you're probably gearing up for the next Inside AR conference. What, what are we kind of looking to expect as you get ready for that? Well, we are, you know, planning our products. That's always been the most important uh, part for us and we are gearing up for the next release for the Mateo SDK and also the creator and then of course for us Inside AR is the big conference for us in October. We hosted this year not only in October in Munich but also in Tokyo in July and then in August in Shanghai to give it a global footprint and what we're trying to do at Inside AR is bring together customers, hardware developers and software developers uh, from the augmented and uh, computer vision space and these are the big milestones for us every year and it's been every year the same essentially. Does it kind of blow your mind because you know as you come into the space and as you see it develop I mean do you sometimes just wake up and pinch yourself and say wow I, I can't believe where things have moved you know how your company has grown and, and you know the wh where it's going to continue to soar that's definitely true I mean uh, we as Mateo have been in the space for 12 years me personally for almost 15 years by now and it's it's huge to see how it has evolved from niche application to really cool and big use cases and since you're mentioning the New York office but we are also seeing that you know, the United States has been somewhat isolated in the augmented reality space, and now it's coming the full force to the ecosystem in Scully. Uh, I mean, you experience it every day, right? Uh, yeah. The level of growth is un unbelievable, just in the New York office. I mean, you're going to see a series of projects come out in the coming year that will put IKEA to the test in terms of quality, scope, um, the sort of partnerships that are coming on down the line. And our offices are growing quickly in the United States. Um, I, I believe that San Francisco, New York, and Dallas offices are likely to double uh, over the coming year. And so if there's anybody watching uh, that wants to get involved in augmented reality, please reach out. Um, we are looking for people who are passionate about the technology and we're ready to go. Awesome. Last question for you guys is that when uh, earlier, b before the conference kicked off, we had like a, a pre-conference where we had Patrick O'Shaughnessy who pretty much lined up 
he would talk about all the different SDKs, and it was always geared, and he's done it in the past where it was geared towards augmented reality. This was the first time that he actually talked about the SDKs that are geared for wearable technology also. How has this whole wearable movement that, that has just kind of exploded in the last year, how has that changed the way that you, you are looking at you know, these new wearable technologies? Well, wearables are coming and they're coming in full force and we can see this and it's not only head-worn devices it's only smartwatches how are we preparing as a tech company in the space well we have started three years ago building our own hardware chip called the ai engine which is essentially ultra low power and ultra fast for computer vision tasks and we are pretty much foreseeing a great uptake for that because if you really want to live up to the promise of augmented reality on wearable devices what you really need is something scanning continuously looking for real world content and you can only implement that if you have a very specialized hardware chip who actually does that with low power consumption. Awesome. Well guys best of luck to you guys and continue to do great work and uh, thanks for taking time. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. We love yeah. the podcast. We're big fans. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Thank you so Appreciate much. It. Yep. I'm actually also